Today we're going to show you how to install the electric dual actuated snow plow. This is available on a 50 inch and 60 inch plow blade. Please see the parts list below that you'll need to successfully complete this project. The first step is to remove the hood. You can start by using a 532nd Allen wrench to remove the vertical screws on each side of the fender. There should be three on each side. Then remove the two screws on the front of the hood. Next, we're going to need to remove the instrument panel cover. Once again, this is a 532nd Allen wrench that you can use to remove the screws on the instrument panel cover. After you've successfully removed the cover, set it aside and now we're going to remove the two switch blanks from the dash. Next, insert the plow switches into the front as shown. The next step is to attach the snowplow to the front receiver hitch of the vehicle. Line up the first hole in the plow with the clevis pin hole in the hitch. Insert the clevis pin to captivate the plow into the receiver. Insert the hairpin retainer into the clevis pin to lock it in. Next, lay in the main snowplow harness on the front passenger side of the frame. Route the two connectors through the passenger side frame bracket as shown. Orient the harness such that the gray four pin connectors end immediately behind the central area of the instrument panel. Connect the four pin snowplow connector to either of the gray four pin connectors on the instrument panel harness. One of the connectors may be occupied by the winch or bed lift connector already. You can only install two of the three features between the snowplow, bed lift, and winch. If you do not have an open gray four pin connector, call American Landmaster for customer support. Place the black switch connectors near the rocker switches that are mounted to the instrument panel. Connect each switch to the respective harness connector. Note that the plow labels on the harness near the switch connectors. Be sure to install the switches in the correct orientation. Line up the hook on the switch with the latch on the harness connector. Take a look at the image shown to ensure that your connection is in the correct orientation. On the portion of the harness that's near the plow, Connect the gray and black two-way connectors to the respective gray and black connectors on the snowplow motors. Once all connections are made, tie wrap the main harness to the frame about every 12 inches from end to end. Be sure to tie wrap up the harness near the snowplow motors to prevent any damage while moving snow. Finally, a method to store and seal the plow motor connectors is provided when the plow is removed for summer operation. It is important to stow the harness and connectors to prevent any damage and corrosion to the wire harness. Start by mounting the plates as shown using a 1 8 Allen wrench and pliers. The plate should be oriented with the screw hole at the bottom. Make sure the cap openings are pointed straight down. Slide the cap back onto the plate as shown. The screw head should be covered by the cap if properly installed. Now you're ready to connect your wire harness up into the caps in the off season. Now it's time to test out the snow plow. With the ignition key on, turn on the headlights. Verify that the two new snow plow switches illuminate. Press the snow plow up switch. The snow plow should raise up. When you press the down switch, it should go down. Then test both the right and left snowplow switches. Finally, now reinstall the instrument panel and the hood. And now you've officially installed the dual actuated snowplow. 